We all thought that the Play Pavilion over at Epcot, since it wasn't talked about at D23, was dead in the water. But could it be making its comeback? Find out on this, 5 Minutes of Disney. What's going on guys, Mr. TechBot here. This is 5 Minutes of Disney, where everybody has 5 minutes to talk a little Disney. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with that post notification bell. The theme pirate rooms over at the Caribbean Beach Resort could be getting a quick change soon over to Ariel and Friends. Yes, the rooms have been confirmed to be rethemed for the under the sea theming. A total of 384 rooms were converted back in 2009 over in Trinidad and South and the pirate theme has had a great run. Disney says that the new rooms will include subtle nods from fan favorite characters from under the sea will accommodate more guests and feature updated finishings that can't be found anywhere else at the resort. Maybe this means that maybe they're going to do more than 384 rooms or maybe they're changing around some of the furnishings. I don't know. Well, we don't know the finished plans, but when I know the more of the finished plans, stay tuned because I will bring them here to you. A new Halloween themed scavenger hunt has found its way over to Epcot. It is Pluto's pumpkin pursuit arriving with a pumpkin shaped map. This scavenger hunt will take place around world celebrations, world nature, and world discovery. Uh, whereas Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak will take place over in World Showcase. In this hunt, you will be looking for character shaped pumpkins, and at the end of this, you will receive a small pumpkin shaped jack-o'-lantern of either Pluto, Minnie, or Mickey. And when I say Minnie, this is pretty much, uh, uh, it's about the size of an ornament type thing and pro probably fit about one fun size candy bar right inside. Both the Pluto Pumpkin Pursuit and the Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak can be purchased at the Port of Entry, Creation Shop, and the World Traveler for $9.99. The long announced Disney Play Pavilion over at Epcot was once thought to be completely dead, but may still be in Disney's plans at this point. Of course, the Play Pavilion was announced back in 2019 at the D23 Expo. This was supposed to take place in the old Wonders of Life Pavilion. After COVID seemed to stop the construction, and after there was nothing said at this year's D23. However, there has been some recent images that come out of construction workers working on the dome of the old Wonders of Life Pavilion. And it has sparked people to think, is this back? Are they starting to do something with this? Last week at the 40th anniversary, they're handing out maps and inside the map of Epcot, right in between Guardians of the Galaxy and Mission Space, it showed the Wonders of Life Pavilion. And it said, future home of play. So this is between the construction going on and this showing up. I'm pretty sure that this whole play pavilion is back in, you know, play. <laughs> Essentially, um, I think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen this year. Uh, I'm pretty sure if it's going to, it's going to be sometime next year. There's a whole lot of new stuff coming up next year with Moana being officially announced to uh, being open next year. This could be an addition in that. So let's hope, let's cross our fingers. If I hear any other news about the Play Pavilion, I'll again bring it here to you. Due to Hurricane Ian last week, Disney closed Fort Wilderness for safety reasons, of course. Um, well, Fort Wilderness did open back up this past Friday on October 7th to much excitement. Um, guests that did have reservations during this closure time uh, were notified and uh, newer arrangements were made for them. So nothing lost, nothing changed. They're still going to come out to a great vacation and everybody stays safe. Reservation times at the Kona Cafe and the Polynesian Village Resort have begun taking reservations for the reopening on November 1st, 2022. Kona Cafe will offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm so happy to see this location back. I can't wait to go check out the new changes to the location and hopefully maybe even uh, even an updated menu. Although their last menu was great. This is one of my favorite spots over at Polynesian Village Resort and I definitely can't wait to go check it out myself. So when I do, I will bring you guys along with me. So stay tuned for that. That's all I got here for you guys today. Thank you very much for coming and hanging out with me. I always appreciate it. If you like this information, 
Don't forget to leave a like button. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, as well as don't forget to hit that red subscribe button along with those post notification bells, so that way you get notified every week when I download a new Five Minutes at Disney. As we always like to say here at Mr. TechPot, do what you like, do what you love, and never forget to unleash your inner nerd. Y'all have a wonderful day. Later.